The letter Pe means mouth. As an archetypal energy, it means communication. As we've seen in other letters, God created the world through speech. So speech is very important. It creates the world. And for man also, man creates and destroys through his speech. A person can destroy a relationship of a lifetime through saying one wrong thing and can give someone hope or even save their life through saying a kind thing or the right thing at the right time. Speech is very powerful. We see in the Aramaic translation when God breathed the soul into man. So the Aramaic translation calls what when man became a living soul is translated as a speaking being. In other words, speech is what defines a human being from the other animals. The idea of abstract thought, which then can be expressed into speech. We have what's called the written Torah and the oral Torah. The oral Torah is 4,000 years of compilation of law, traditions, inner teachings. And for 2,000 of those years, it literally was oral. Nothing was written down. Until the Mishnah was written down approximately 1,800 years ago, our whole tradition was oral. And even now that it's written down, the Mishnah, the Talmud, the Midrash, we still call it the oral tradition because it's dependent on teachers giving over to students from generation to generation. In Hebrew, the for the oral Torah is Torah Shebaal Peh, which in a literal sense can be translated as the Torah of the master of the mouth. The letter Pe represents this idea of communication and handing down a tradition from generation to generation. A very interesting thing of the Pe, if you look closely at it, inside of the Pe is the letter Bet. This is unique of all of the letters that there's a letter within a letter. A beautiful visualization is going back to the first word of the Torah, Bereshit, which begins with the big bet, and imagining the white space around the letter, as it were, as the mouth of God speaking the world into creation. This is actually an amazing idea and that we can visualize. Now this expression, the mouth of God, is actually used when describing God giving the Torah at Sinai. As this was a unique once in a history event where God spoke to the people, not just a prophet or a leader, but to the whole people. And the expression used is that the Torah was given mipi hagvura, from the mouth of strength importance of speech, that God not only creates the world through speech, but He revealed His will for the Jewish people and all of humanity through speaking the Ten Commandments so we could hear them. The letter Pe also spells Po, which means here, the here and now. Pe represents communication. And the letter He represents expression. So when, when we want to be in the here and now, we do that through communicating. If not, in a sense we're living in the past or the future or daydreaming, but when we're speaking, then we're expressing ourselves right in the here and now. A meditation for the letter Pe would be to realize and every generation adds to that. 
We are part of a living oral tradition. And further, we can meditate on the importance of speech, the power of speech, and with that to learn to measure our words, to know how powerful they are, and in a sense to pray that our speech can bring healing and love to the world.